My first challenge is when I was born, really. My mother was born or pregnant with me with twins. Because they didn't know it was twins back then, my mother went into a coma. When she came out of the coma, they found out that my sister was stillborn. To their surprise, after the C-section, there was another heartbeat coming. They were shocked, and it was me. When I came out, because of that, years later, they found out that I had a speech impediment, a learning disorder, because the oxygen couldn't get to me because they didn't even see me. And I grew up being bullied, being tackled, uh, talked about. And one day, Mrs. Horton, beautiful, fine, counselor, guess what she said? You can change that if you want to. She said, I will help you. And Mrs. Horton took me to Sue. Sue was a speech pathologist who taught me that there was different learning orders and disorders and you can learn. She said, everyone had the capacity to learn. You just need to find your rate of learning. I couldn't enunciate, couldn't articulate words. It was amazing. And guess what? We tackled it. We conquered it. The next thing you know, I began to articulate words, enunciate words, learning words. Then I became a wordsmith. And guess what? I overcame a challenge that from birth tried to take me out, from birth tried to back me up and tell me that I was not welcomed in this world. But I had a praying mother. My mother said, oh no boy, <laughs> you are not going to be bullied. You're not going to be one that can't make it. She said, I know a God that specializes in miracles and I'm going to see you make it. Well, guess what? I did it. Not only did I learn, not only did I read, I began to get on the honor roll. I began to do well that Mrs. Horton said, you know what? I believe you can go to college. I said, college, you know, they told me I would never even graduate. She said, oh no, you have the capacity not only to graduate, but to do more than you've ever imagined. And I began to read, learn, to read, like reading, begin to underline words, use words. And to my surprise, they were picking me to do speeches. They were picking me to do the invocation. And can you believe today I'm talking to you? It's amazing because I'm not the same that I was at birth, but that's the beauty of becoming. And here I am today, conquering and overcoming challenges and now teaching others how to do it. That's my story. Oh.